Hi hey everyone, it's gonna be a video about phase shifting between voltage and current. This is my new scope, two channel up to 20 MHz scope. And this uh, 9 volt adapter I just get two wires before the bridge rectifier so I can get the uh, AC. And this is two resistors connected in series uh, one of them is uh, 330 ohms and the other is 4.3 ohm basically we will act like a current shunt resistor I've got my two probes connected the green one is channel 1 uh, it's probed the voltage across the resistors and the, the red one channel 2 probing the voltage across the 4.3 ohm resistor it's basically will give us the current through the whole circuit and let's let's try let's see what is the if there is any any difference between the phase of the circuit so turn on my scope and plug in the adapter so channel 1 the voltage across the both resistor is the upper side this is channel 1 on the top and the channel 2 is the voltage across the current shunt resistor it's uh, basically the current so if I bring the channel 2 the current up to the channel 1 the voltage we see that there is no phase difference between between them so uh, let's check the if we put the capacitor instead of this resistor I will I will pause the video and connect the capacitor now okay we are back and I just hooked up a capacitor instead of this resistor I used before and let's plug in the adapter whoops yes now is what we have again it's uh, voltage on top and the current down and if we bring the current up to the voltage we see that now we have a phase shift between them actually this phase shift is because the capacitor it's reactive element and uh, when the capacitor is charging uh, the current is at highest value and the voltage is uh, at minimum value and after a while the voltage is going to incre increase uh, and the uh, current and current going going down and when the capacitor is fully charged the current is equal to zero and the uh, voltage is at maximum point so let's uh, connect an inductor instead of this capacitor and see if there is any change okay I'm back uh, and uh, just connect the inductor I'm using this is basically a 12 volt adapter uh, transformer and I actually using only the the secondary this is the only free uh, primary this is the secondary is not used in this setup and uh, it's connected the adapter and I'll adjust the voltage divisions so that is our data and uh, 
as you can see now is this is a phase shift again and now the current is on the downside and if you bring up to the voltage as we can see there is a, a voltage leading and uh, current uh, lagging about 90 degrees that is uh, because the inductor have uh, windings wound and uh, these uh, windings uh, when you try to to put the current through them in these windings uh, there is going to ha have a voltage of self induction and this voltage will oppose the the current you try to run through the the inductor so basically the inductor opposes of changed of changes of current and this is the phase shifting between the current and voltage with inductor that's it for now thank you for watching